Hello everyone, it's Cherise. Thank you for coming by my channel today. We're going to be making a Hello Kitty birthday tutu dress. And I'm going to list the things that you need right here. You're going to need several rolls of colorful tulle. And you're going to need pink thread. You're going to need a Hello Kitty head shaped pattern. I made this one myself, but you certainly can find them online. You're going to need a sparkly sequin like fabric or you can use a glittery ribbon if that's easier for you to use. I have a chevron print fabric. You can use solid or any fabric you'd like. And of course you're going to need a crochet tube top. You will need some one, in one and a half inch satin ribbon. A small piece of yellow felt a black piece of felt and I have two white pieces of felt right here and I will leave the details about where I find these items and the measurements below in the description box first what I'm going to do is create the face for Hello Kitty so I did not use a pattern so I'm just eyeballing the nose right now and cutting it out freehand. That looks like a good Hello Kitty nose, so I'm going to use that same shape to cut the eyes. So I'm using the nose as my pattern for the eyes. And I'm using my black felt for the eyes. So now I've got the nose and eyes taken care of, I'm on to the whiskers. So I'm just cutting out some very thin strips of black fabric. And that looks good to me. Now I'm taking the Hello Kitty stencil that I made and I am tracing it onto a sheet of the white felt. It's important that you use a very light marker so that it doesn't bleed through. So I've got that all cut out, but as you can see one piece is just too thin. You can see the chevron print through the white Hello Kitty face. So I'm going to double this felt up. And so how I do that is I'm taking the Hello Kitty face that I cut out and I'm going to outline it with hot glue. And now I'm going to turn this piece over and stick it to the other half of the felt. And cut it out. So now I have a very soft 3D Hello Kitty head. Now I'm cutting my second piece of white felt down so that I can use this as the front of the bodice of the dress. So I've got my chevron fabric laid out with the right side down and I'm just going to cut around my felt square and leave about a half inch to an inch border. This is just like in the Elsa tutorial that I did. Now this step is optional cutting around the outside. I like to do it because it gives you more control but um, you certainly can omit that step. I'm going to outline all around this felt square and fold the fabric over onto it. I've got that done. I have a very neat square. 
and I am now going to apply my Hello Kitty face. And using my handy dandy glue gun again, I'm going to trace all around the outside of the Hello Kitty face and stick it down onto my bodice square. I'm just making sure it's stuck down and I didn't miss any pieces. Now I am gluing the face on. And I used chevron print in the back, but you could certainly use polka dots or just a solid pink fabric would be cute or zebra print. Um, you can match your birthday party theme or do whatever you'd like. Now I am cutting my sparkly fabric. I'm going to fold this over to a 3 by 3 inch square and just threading right through the middle to secure it. I know that was pretty fast. I do have a how to make a bow tutorial and I use the same technique. So you can check my channel for that. That looks good so I'm just going to hot glue it right down. And that is so adorable. Now I'm rolling out my tool. The same way I always do. This time I'm using multiple colors. I had that glitter tool there, but I ended up not using it just because I forgot to use it. So um, thumbs up this video if you'd like to see another tutorial with me using glitter tool. So I'm rolling out my tool and should end up with a large stack. So now that I've got my tube top placed over my mannequin, I am going to start putting in the tool. As I've said in the other tutorials, I like to use three pieces at a time because it makes it full without having to go around several times. You certainly could use four. Um, you probably could even use five pieces of tool at a time. I'm just going to go all the way around until the dress is complete. Now I've cut two pieces of ribbon, 28 inches long. Cut the ends off of one so they're square and heat sealed them. And on the other end, I'm going to cut a triangle shape and heat seal that end too. So now you've got two pieces. Each piece has a square end and a triangle end. So taking the square end, I'm going to put it through the front of the dress at the top. And I'm creating straps now. Using the hot glue. I am going to fold the straps over on themselves to secure them. And I'll do this on each side to make two straps. So now that we've got two straps, we're going to pull them to the back. So this is the back of the dress now. And we're going to take the triangular end of the ribbon and pull it through. You can pull it through wherever you'd like. It doesn't, it doesn't matter a whole lot. I just try to get it in the top center. And I'm tying a bow just like you would tie your shoestrings.
Now I am going to hot glue the Hello Kitty bodice square that we made onto the dress. Now in past tutorials I've said that if you don't want to get glue on your mannequin, you can certainly wrap it with a trash bag or plastic bag of some kind to keep the glue off of it. So there's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests for other tutus or other craft projects, definitely leave it in the comments below.